Hi everyone, welcome to Quarter Militaire. Hopefully I said that correctly. Start the montage. <laughs> <laughs> to a Muslim saint or the son of a Muslim saint. We'll go and have a look. So this is the shrine to Holy Shrine of Pier Shah. I think I read somewhere that when they came and put the shrine they examined his body and it was completely well preserved. That's kind of interesting. As we're unsure of Muslim things we have a lot to learn still. I will just take video from the outside, but you can see the carpets and uh, I assume that's where, where his body has been laid to rest. And the dome above. Oh. So this is the tomb for Pierre Shah. Um, it's out here in the middle of Esperanza, which means hope. So uh, put it in the middle of hope and he's got one great view of the the Peterboth mountain range mm -hmm. which i will flip the camera in a second and you'll be able to see we don't know the laws so we, we didn't actually go inside but i did open the door no we don't want to be disrespectful or yeah. anything but that's the mountains uh, you can just make out the top of Peterboth there weirdly not a single car and now suddenly two in a row so the shrine is there and the mountain range are just across the sugar cane there. And we're heading to Esperanza. Just past Tammy there. So these are your beautiful views from La Esperance. This is the garden district. I don't know if you can make them out, but those there's like lines of trees coming down that small hill. Either it's river tributaries or it's lava tunnels. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, this is actually a place. This is actually a place. <laughs> this area here is the temple complex just on the outskirts of Esperance. Now, there is the river down here. As you can see and it's, it's a modern bridge I'll show you the bridge from the other side it is a modern bridge uh, beautiful steelwork on the side of it and great little uh, places you can walk across but let's just head to the other side and I'll show you something there yeah it's got a nice well protected footpath she's got a guitar sitar sitar is that a sitar yeah she's playing a sitar I have heard that this is quite a spiritual area and as you saw we just had the Muslim one there this is a Christian one, and this is a Catholic temple, and the, this is the Hindu. So, like right here in this little in this little village, which is not a big village, and a, a few thousand people, they have all three sharing the lake. But this is what I wanted to show you. Have a look down there. Oh, bus, hide. Okay, good news Esperance bus drivers are careful about people on the road. Now look down there, there's going to be a waterfall. We're going to be able to stand over there and have a look back while the light is perfect onto this waterfall. Pity it hasn't rained. Now, there's a little complex to try and find your way here, but it is just off the road. Cross the bridge and come down here and it seems to open up and hopefully that will take us down. So we got some stairs and they're leading down. Along the way there's quite a few um... It's a really amazing complex. This is really pretty. It's just bizarre. And unusual. 
So the river continues down there behind me. There's a little uh, a bridge that you can cross to the other side and there's a pergola. We'll go have a look at that in a minute. But it's down here that's really interesting. Oh, you've got your uh, sitting astride the, the, the river and just ahead is the main bit. So let's go have a look at that. I assume it's probably like a, a pond for ceremonies. Yeah. If you can't get to the sea, this is a... Yeah, you can come do some washing or something here. But here's the water and that's the waterfall. And it's a pity it's not gushing down. But also, I suppose if it was gushing down, I probably wouldn't be able to stand here. So a little bit of a win and a lose. Very peaceful. You can't see me. Hold on a sec. I think I can see you. You want to wave? <laughs> That's Ricky. I can't really see the bridge. I'll bring it up a bit. Little arched bridge. Are oh, there lots of fish below you? There are quite a few in the pond. As the river continues down there, it actually is quite picturesque with all the, the vines growing over the trees. I didn't actually get a chance to walk across the bridge. No, it actually is made out of wood. And there's the little, a little place you can probably sit and uh, contemplate life. And this is the sort of place you'd want to do it in. Wow. It is pretty cool. Don't know if you can hear them. Every time we're quiet, the frogs get going again. <laughs> I've been standing here for a bit and this water never actually stops. It must be like some sort of piping that comes from further up the river and just keeps running. Oh yes, you can actually see the piping. Very clever. So they've run this pipe and it goes all the way up to the top and the water just keeps gravity fed. So the fountain will always keep running and I suppose the more water is available, the more water will be coming out of her um, urn. urn. Makes me want to pee. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ricky. <laughs> yeah, if you walk down here, there's a bridge down that way. To the road going over is my check. This is the only place where yeah. it's a substantial road. Wow. Obviously been call recording a lot. We'll have to go and have a look at what that video is, but a bit of a great view down below. As you can clearly see, we are in Providence. Okay, well, I suppose technically the bus could be anywhere, but we are in Providence and there's a bus called Providence on it. What's nice is Providence actually names all their roads and every single road has one of these little signs. This is a railway road. And as you can see, all the way straight down there and all the way straight down there into the sugar cane, a straight railway used to run through here. And Providence was actually, I'll let you see the, the nice straight road behind me. Providence was actually started in the 50s as a, as a residential area. So you get lots of um, schools, temples, houses, that sort of thing. No real uh, old buildings or anything like that. I did say that there's a big temple here, but we haven't been able to find it yet. There are quite a lot of temples, but none that I would say are big. Yes, we have seen a few, but nothing big. And nothing that matches what we just saw in Esperante. <laughs> yeah, Ricky doesn't like it when I say it's Spanish-like. So we're driving down one of these back roads, this one in particular, which probably has a name just a little bit further up. And we bumped into the temple. Ah, how cool is that? I'd say the name of it, but let me just point it out to you guys. 
that, that's the name of this place. And here it is. It's, it's got plants growing in it. Actual plants. And I mean, it really looks good. I wish I could get a, a better view up there of those. Maybe I can turn the camera on and actually show you, but this is the temple. So we, we, we lucked out on that. I must admit, it is a, a little bit of a, a strange road to be driving down. But if you do come to Providence, go down a small road. And there's the temple right there. And it's a really nice temple as well. You can see their birds and plants and things. It really looks great. Really, really looks great. That's a big temple. <laughs> And the name of this temple is Tamil Shiva Sangam. Tamil Shiva Sangam. Thank you so much. Tamil Shiva Sangam. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Wow, we've been allowed inside. Have a look at this. It goes up through the roof. I have to check from the outside, see what it's like. Oh, we're getting a special guided tour. Look at the ceiling in here. It's really beautiful in here. Eh? Wow. And the pillars, all the pillars, beautifully painted. Just look at that. Oh, wow. Yaganesha, Shiva, Murga, Amen. Can take. I can take. Ganesha. Ganesha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Shiva. Come here. Shiva. Yeah. Shiva. So this is Shiva. This is Shiva. Shiva. Yeah, Muruga. Muruga. Son of son of Kaveri. Shiva. Kaveri. Yes. Kaveri oh, and there's peacocks. Yeah. And then okay. Amen. The one with the knife? Yeah. But to actually now I have a guided tour from the main priest of the of this temple. It, it's it's fantastic. It's really it's really what we do this for. Is to just come and and experience it and get to know just a little bit more. Each time we come we learn a little bit more. Mm. Oh, that's probably enough lecturing. Mm -hmm. This place is awesome. But that's for the next adventure. No, you could have said like you did it, but no, oh. no, wait. <laughs> we still don't know what that is called. No, we don't. But that's for the next adventure. Come on, let's move on. Ale. Ale. <laughs> Providence Park looks like a tennis court or basketball court and there's also a big football field somewhere. This seems to be a central park in Providence. Uh, the Providence Community Center is right here. They've got a fantastic old pagoda. pagoda. And the reason this, this is an important um, park is because if you're trying to find the temple it's just over there. So if you find the park, the temple's easy enough to find. This looks a bit like an indoor football field. Indoor 
well, a football field. Uh, one of the short forms of the game. And of course, petank fields, courts. I think they're called courts. Providence Community Hall. I'm not 100% sure, but these facts are in. Well, I'm not actually sure about these facts, but that one looks like it has a cross on top, so probably Christian. Normally the Muslim ones are white and green, so I'm... Eh? The mosque. The mosque. Uh, so the mosque is normally white and green, so I'm going with that. Then I assume the Hindu temples are the, the white with the red or the white with the orange. And, and that's just a guess now, because I'm not 100% sure on this fact. But what I am sure on is this is an actual melting pot of bilingual people. Apparently at one of the schools here you can learn Arabic. So the people are learning a lot of different languages here because it's a, it, it's, it's a place for people. I suppose I'm saying that badly, but it's, <laughs> it's a place for people and the people learn things. Wow, that is really bad. Yeah, the people are from diverse backgrounds. So the people are from diverse backgrounds. There we go. This actually is Pont Madame Francois. So I'm not sure if that applies to the river that's around me here and below me here, the bridge I'm walking across. But it is a fact that Madame Francois, who we learned about in the flak video, lived over there somewhere. She actually was out there in those wilds. Hi, came into the tree. No, he's gone. Now I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a place you can walk down and there's water. Maybe you can bath yourself or wash something. So that's pretty cool as well. But Point Madame Francois, they actually have a thing for it. I was trying to get a nice photo of you between the trees, but they kept being a car behind you. Uh, but I got one. I got one. Cool. Cool, cool. Onwards to Cotier Militaire. Cotier Militaire. We need to do an intro somewhere. We will. We need to do an intro. We've already done one. <laughs> yeah, as seen at the beginning of this video. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to Quattro Militaire. We're outside the old pubs post office. Start the montage. <laughs> we could probably do that better. We've been walking around the whole day looking at things and we still haven't been able to get our, our, our intro done. Is it started? Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, welcome to Quattro Militaire. We're outside the old post office. So this is the old train station and now it's exactly being used as a bus station. That is pretty cool. What's weird is that there have been a whole bunch of really beautiful buses that have gone completely empty. And then this one, which is I'm going to say a little bit old, but photo bomb by the other one. Everyone's queuing up to take it. Yeah, it's good experience. It, it has experience. Everyone knows they're going to be safe with that one. But anyway, the post office, the old bus station, old bus station, the old train station. Let's have a quick squiz. See, see what it is. The buses in Kochi Militaire are kind of cool. Most wanted. You'll never yeah. walk alone. <laughs> nice. So. This behind me is the actual platform. The train would have come through here where the buses are coming in now. Okay, no buses. But uh, this is where it would have been. And this would have been the train station. But it's made of wood. So if, I'm not going to knock on it because a guy came out last time I knocked. <laughs> that was accidental. But so it's actually made out of, out of wood. That's pretty cool. And there's actually stone on the inside. Let's see if I can get in there. Look at this, when you open one side, the other side opens, <laughs> and inside you can make a phone call. <laughs> that is so cool. But anyway, I'm going to go look at the stone building, because the front of the old train station might have been made of wood. And look at this bus coming in. <laughs> Pretty cool. I think the bathroom here is a new addition, although it doesn't really look like it. It does look quite old with its with its shaping again. It actually has the shaping again. And then the stone building here on this side, as you can see the one on this side, also has it. So it is it is one of the things that you get when you get these old buildings. Now we just gotta try to find that tower thing with the wet wets on it. Ah, uh, 
I think I was wrong about the toilets. This is the back end of them. I'm actually going and have a look. This is actually in the toilets and you can see the stone wall is still here. That's pretty cool. Because this is beautiful stonework. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> Did we just discover pay dirt or what? How is this not on a tour? People at the bus stop think we're absolutely mad because we're filming their bus station with like such enthusiasm but it's an old train station! It is and look They don't know! <laughs> look at the tiny little windows! Whoa! Whoa! Almost fell over! Okay, this is not the original water tank! Yeah! 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 But those little windows, I'm gonna go have a look at them! Hi! Hello! Got your military doggy? tricky to see but now that we're here we have these little windows which are a little bit odd I was thinking maybe this was like maybe the jail cell or something where they kept prisoners because there's no way they could get out of that and right next door you've got a bigger window so it's not about how hard it is to make the window yeah it is quite confusing maybe, maybe a little bit something has to be protected in there like the ticket office or something maybe maybe and they didn't want to build a, a bar around it cool just behind the post office combust station you've got quite a lot of shops selling snacks it smells quite great and there seems to be quite a lot of parking in Corte Militaire so don't worry too much about that this is Ricky but right below here are the stairs this would have been where you came up because the trains would have come from the other side so you would have come up here and maybe that one over there that's also got some great stonework and gone in and wow what great stonework Oh, <laughs> come on in, come on in. Wow, wow, what a great train station. And the fact that it's wood on the front is just remarkable. But look at how good the stone is. The stone stairs are so well cut. Wow, the whole building is great, the whole building is great. And what's really nice is that the guys here at Quattro Militaire have sort of matched it at their snack place. So they've got some they've got some stone on the snack place that matches with the old train station. Brian's got some fans watching him work. <laughs> Found a great old train station. Oh, this one's <laughs> Oh man, that smells so good. Okay, hang on, sorry, wait. I just dig shot through the meat. The weeds. <laughs> Man, look at this place. <laughs> mm -hmm. Such great stonework. Master builders. This is the old railway signal pole. I was looking for it. And there it is. It's made out of metal. That would have signaled if a train was coming. Courtier Militaire. There are 9,000 people in the city, but there are 24,000 in the region. And look at all this traffic. Wow, you'd, you'd expect a lot more people to make that much traffic. This here where the yellow bollards are would have been right next to the train track. We're actually walking on the train track and this would have actually been part of it here. And it would have come right through here all the way down to the post office. Walking through Koti Militaire. Brian getting a cold juice because we've got ours. Buying a Miranda. There's some corn growing and some bananas. We're going to go discover an old church. Look how old it is. <laughs> This is the man who rings the bells. The man who, yes. So he probably can't hear very well. <laughs> <laughs> this, I suppose, is a shrine. I'm not sure what the terminology is, but Villain Kani is actually here. At the end, there has been placed there. The idol was brought from Kerala, India, and it was placed here by the, the clergyman of the St. Leon Church. So this is St. Leon Church next to us. Very, very old church. We'll go see that in a minute. 
but this is an actual I, I don't really know how to describe it if it's a shrine or a, a temple or a church because it's right next to it it does have uh, normal crosses and things on it but, but it's, a, it, it's, 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 it's an idol, idol. Church, it's hmm. I assume there's a lot of information on these things on the walls yeah. kind of a different place all along the wall here you've got lots and lots of information uh, so if you do read I, I suppose that it's in Creole so come and have a look at that but all the way along so St. Leon Church is very old we're not 100% sure on the date somewhere between 1810 and 1850 the stonework on this is absolutely beautiful wow you can actually see some of it has been hand chiseled and the plants the plants are beautiful as well what? the plants growing out it's very english country feel it, it's got the plants growing out of the actual stonework as well wow you can actually make out plants growing out of it Well, with the church there, and as you can see, almost the sun is completely gone with clouds overhead. Which is a great time to tell you that this is actually the cloudiest place in Mauritius. And, and believe it or not, has recorded the coldest temperature. The one time they recorded a temperature of 5 degrees. 5, that's 5, that's how many fingers you have. <laughs> Wow, that, that must have been so cold. That must have been so cold for Mauritius. Five degrees. Can't remember when that was, but hopefully it doesn't happen that often. As you can see, Corte Militaire is on the Le Mans cultural route. Behind me is Alphonse Raviton green space. And who doesn't know who Alphonse Raviton is? Well, I'm going to go put my feet up and listen to a little Sega music. Because Alphonse Raviton is the uncrowned king of Sega music and he grew up right here, right here is where he grew up and then in the 40s or 50s he wrote Sega music and took it to the world and made it into the phenomenon that Sega music is now and this is his park, I'm actually in his park, I'm actually in his hometown and I haven't found the, the hall of fame for Sega music, the the Alphonse Raviton Hall of Fame for Sega Music but he has got a park and that's a great start but I think what we need to do is start a movement to get the king of Sega his own place <laughs> I'm not taking a picture I was just trying to cross the road and you did your whole speech you did your whole speech while I was trying to cross the road so I didn't get any of it yeah, I was on the other side of the road. I'll find Raviton, King of Sega. Awesome. Uncrowned King, unfortunately, but the King nonetheless. No anyway, so we're resting in the green space, the Alphonse Raviton green space, just opposite the church of St. Leon. What a nice little place to come and rest. You can see it rains a lot here because this grass is lush and green. So it's a really big green space for the people of Corte Militaire, including a nice playground. That's pretty cool. Mauritius needs a few more of these spaces. There he is, Alphonse. And I think the appropriate thing to do is, I'm going to go put my camera over there and Ricky and I are going to do a little Sega in front of him. Start the Sega music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I see it had a clock in there that said Alphonse Raviton. Across there is Ramallah Villa, it says it on the gate. Quite an impressive gate.
Brian is interested because he thinks this is the exact location where the cognac distillery used to be. But maybe it was taken down and the villa put in its place. He's a, he's a so it could be. Really, really hard to make up, but I'm sure I can see a tower there. I'm convinced on the old map it said this was the cognac distillery, so I'm sure it's here and they've just turned it into a into a, a, a place where people stay. Convinced. Convinced. We've actually gotten quite lucky on this trip because like just now we stopped for a rest in this green space and we found the statue of Alphonse, which was a great opportunity to tell you about the great man of Sega. And earlier we stumbled on the big temple. So sometimes trips are like that. Quite remarkable like old school gas stations. It's kind of quaint. Uh, <laughs> This place has a lot of crossroads. This is the one in front of me. And you'll find that there it's one way, there it's one way, and where this bus is coming screaming towards me, it's two ways. And they don't really tell you where it's gonna be. You don't know when you're gonna get a surprise one of these things pop up. That's why we just decided to walk. <laughs> so we're walking around here. We'll figure it out. We'll get better at it. But wow, those buses come. They really, really come. But at least they do hoot so that they warn you that you mustn't step out the road. There are people all waving. Wave back. <laughs> Time to do a road, work, road walk review. They have sidewalks. They're protected. Not everywhere, but mostly where there are flying buses, they hoot if there's no sidewalk. So at least you get a warning somehow. Love for all, hatred for none. That's cool. Great sentiment. Oh, look at this beautiful school. It's got like a map and a road and volcano, volcano. and that looks like an awesome school. So it's actually the Reverend Edver Edward Walter Government School in Quartier Militaire. And it really looks like a nice school. It looks like I'd like to come to school here. It looks proper. Without waking it up. That over there is one star biryani, one star. <laughs> <laughs> this is a small collection of shops. Surprisingly in Cote Milite there's no big supermarket complex and there are like 24,000 people in the surrounding area. But I think they probably have plans to put one at one of the roundabouts. As more and more buses come, I think it's time to talk about this is literally the middle of Mauritius. From here, in any direction, the sea is the furthest away you can get. So we are practically in the center of the island and this is sort of like a busing hub. Because from here you go up to Kyopip and Port Louis beyond, or to Flak in that direction, or even towards the south, Marburg and those places. But this, this is the center of the island and they all leave from here. But still, and I know this is going to sound weird, no evidence of how it got its name. Really? Quatria Militaire? Quarters? Military quarters. Military quarters, that's what it means. So, why are they called military quarters? Was, was there military quarters here? Or maybe there was a temporary one that they put here. They put it here because of Madame Francois. But we're going to go see if we can find where she was. Her and her Amazon tribe, well, they weren't Amazons, they were Maroons. But everyone claimed that they were fierce Amazon warriors. <laughs> and they were just over there, so we're going to go see if we can find them. And maybe they built a wooden military base here and they named the area. And then they left after they had captured her or she escaped because we don't know the full story there. Just outside Courtier Militaire, you've got this massive wedding and banquet house hotel it's huge you could have a serious party here and everyone can stay over so I found this beautiful piece of river and it's literally coming out of that hole in the ground and flowing down and it is really a great find but you're probably asking yourself why does he look so sad to having found something beautiful like this well 
We've been going all over Quattro Militaire, uh, Provence, Provence, uh, the, the, the couple of places around here, looking for the lava tubes. Now they're on the, all the old maps and they have a record of them and we just can't find them. Every time we go somewhere we look and there's no lava tube. So while the river is beautiful and it's fantastic that it comes out of a hole in the ground, uh, but it's not a lava tube. I think it would be a caved in lava tube. A caved in lava tube. Well anyway, in front of me is a really big building. Uh, not sure if we're trespassing or not, so let's move on to the next spot. It's only fitting that we do our outro for Quattro Militaire Esperanza and Provence. Let's go with the whole flow here. Uh, with the mountains that watch over them all. And it's just like wherever you go, you can see these mountains, which is fantastic. So it's really hard to get lost. You always know which way Peter Bath is. Uh, I'd just like to say, Quattro Militaire, thank you so much for preserving your, your post office, your old railway line. We really appreciate that. What a fantastic place to go. And to be led around a temple. I mean, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You guys really welcomed us. I mean, there, there's lots of footage that we didn't show. People waving and saying hello and stuff. And we really appreciate that, guys. For the middle of Mauritius, you guys are its heart. Thanks a lot. <laughs> thank you, Quartier Militaire, Providence and L'Esperance. We had a great day.